are you guys today? Good? Happy? Yay, it's Friday. Not that that means a whole bunch anymore to a lot of people, but that's okay. It's day 2,823 of April, I think, is what we're on. Um, and we're ready to go. Okay, so Tabata, 20 minutes on, 20 minutes on. Oh, fuck, that would suck. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You know the drill. Lay it on down. Let's get into that first Shavasana. All the way on your back. <sighs> exactly what I woke you up for. I woke you up to lay you back down. <laughs> so take your first Shavasana. Get all nice and comfortable on that back. Palms up. Looking for love and light. Palms down. Ground yourself. Figure out what you need this morning. And take a nice deep inhale in through your nose. And let it go. Let it all go. Watch it. Imagine it coming out your mouth, swirling around over your head. It being wafted out the door. Whatever you brought onto your mat with you today needs to stay off of your mat. You just need your body. You don't need your emotions. You don't need your baggage. Leave your baggage outside that door, that room. Take a nice big deep inhale in through your nose. And let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let go of your day, let go of your week. Open your mind and be completely in the presence. Maybe check yourself, wiggle around a little bit. Make sure you're working with a good body here. No joint pain. And if you do have some, oh my coffee. Make sure you address it, remember it. Love it, coddle it, and take a nice big deep inhale in through your nose. And let it go. All right, come back to your mat, come back to your body. That's all you get. Bend your knees, please, placing the soles of your feet on your mat, hip distance apart with your ankles directly below your knees. I'm determined to drink this coffee. All right, if you were looking for love and light, flip those hands over, palms down on your mat. We're doing that spinal articulation thing. So bend those knees, ground it through those heels. Take that nice deep inhale in through your nose. And on that exhale, tuck, curl, and lift those hip bones into the air all the way up to the ceiling, opening your psoas muscles, feeling that flex in your hip flexors. <laughs> See what I did there? Come up all the way. Make sure your knees are not splaying out. Knees are directly over your heels. Squeeze those glutes. Quads are tight. Come all the way up. Belly button to the floor. Ass to the ceiling. Come up even more. And take a nice deep inhale in through your nose. And on your exhale, slowly using your entire exhale, roll that body down. Nice and slow. Nice and controlled. Until you land. Add your tailbone. Again, deep inhale in. And on that exhale, tuck, curl, lift those hip bones all the way up to the ceiling. Come up even higher than the first time. Come up even higher than you are right now. Come up even higher than that belly button to the floor, ass to the ceiling, squeeze those glutes, tighten those quads. Ground down through those heels of your feet. Come up a little bit more. Make sure those knees are in check. You're not butterflying out. We are not doing bridges quite yet. Come up a little bit higher. Squeeze those glutes behind you and come up a little bit more. Take small sips of air and breathe in through your nose. And on that exhale, come on down. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. All the way until you land at that tailbone. Last time, get yourself all set up. Deep inhale in. And on that exhale, tuck, curl, lift those hip bones all the way up to the ceiling. Open up your hip flexors. Come up a little bit higher. Push the floor away through the heels of your feet. Come up a little bit higher. If it is in your practice to grab all 10 fingers behind your back, rolling onto your shoulders, do that. Find that yogic bridge. Make sure your knees are not splaying out. Knees are directly over your ankles. Come up a little bit higher. Squeeze those glutes, tighten those quads, belly button to the floor. Ass to the ceiling, come up a little bit more. La la la. And take that nice deep inhale in through your nose. Oh, fly, that's bugging me. Come on down, nice and slow, nice and controlled, all the way. All right. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. 
I'm skipping bridges again. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. All right, if you have music, where's my phone? I am discombobulated today. Start that music going. I've got Garage IHP-ish. Starting with the second song. If you can hear it. I don't know if you can or not. It doesn't matter, you got your own thing going on. All right, starting out with Running Man today. So it's kind of like that banana boat that we did on Wednesday, except for not at all. <laughs> okay, this is my shoulder. I'll get anatomy right today. Shoulder, shoulder to knee, shoulder to knee. Coming all the way back down. Heels are okay on the ground. Shoulder to knee, all the way back down. Shoulder to knee, coming up from side to side. I want you leaning with your shoulder. By leaning with your shoulder, you are straightening out your back, right? Straighten out your back, all the way down. Straighten out your back, shoulder to knee. Set it up, get on down. If you want your weights to hold on to, you can absolutely grab onto those. Doesn't matter. Ready, sit, let's go. Take it up, shoulder to knee, all the way. And so you sink elbow to knee all the time. Shoulder to knee messes me up. But this is what we're doing. Find it side to side, all the way, leading through that shoulder. Down and up. Change. All right, whatever your next side was going to be, that's the side you're gonna stay on. We're coming right here. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Pulsing here, let's go. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. From the front, it's shoulder. Okay, shoulder to knee. Chest is up, collarbone is open, holding that shoulder pulse to your knee. Staying to the side, all kinds of twisted. You're almost there, change. Keep that leg up. Lean it back ever so slightly. It's a weight transfer through that leg, through that leg, through that leg. Let's go, it's the same side, up and down. Up and up and up <laughs> and I don't think it matters which direction you go nope doesn't matter as long as you're going around that leg Woohoo! change take it all the way down all right running man side to side drop that leg now you've got running man from side to side let's go take it all the way back up shoulder to knee Push, push, pull, pull. All the way back down, all the way back up. You got it, change. Perfect, opposite side, opposite leg should be up. You're bringing that shoulder to your knee on the other leg, let's go. Take a shoulder to knee, find that pulse. Lean back. Lean back, so you have that full uh, coming in, shoulder to knee. Chest up, tailbone tucked, change. Keep that leg up, find your weight. Get ready for that weight transfer, circling that leg that's up right now, ready? Let's go, circle, circle. Now notice it's like a very small little crunch I'm doing just to get around my leg. All the way, all the way, all the way. Change. Weight goes aside, side to side running, man. Get ready. Ready, 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 let's go. Side, two side, two side. <laughs> Having a wardrobe malfunction again. Oh, my pants won't stay up anymore. <sighs> Change. One more full running man, just to round it out. Side to side. Ready? Steady. Let's go. Side. Two side. Two side. Two side. Two side. Shoulder up, chest up, collarbone open. You got it. Ooh. Change. 
All right. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right. Next comes zombie sit-ups. So you've done these with me before. Whether or not you have weights in your hand, that's your own deal. What I'm looking for is that zombie. Okay, feet are flexed, and you're literally raising from the dead. See my back, nice and straight, touch those toes, or just reach straight for that wall. Okay, coming all the way back down. What I don't want is this. Okay, that's full on cheating, and that's, that's a big no-no. So do not fling yourself up all the way, okay? If you cannot, if it is not in your wheelhouse today to come up, then come up as far as you can and right back down, okay? If this is your zombie, that's fine, totally fine. You do not have to come all the way up with this, but you do not fling, all right? Ready? Set her up, let's go, come on up. Okay, nice straight spine. Wait, wait, wait. Find those toes and come right back down. If you have your weights in your hand, it's the same thing. Same idea. Come on up. All right, change. Okay, find this half zombie. Nice straight back. Lift those legs up so it's not quite a V. Right, you're low. Just flutter. Let's go. Find that zombie and flutter. So your back is up, off the ground. Sometimes if you're sitting, it's easier to find it this way. <laughs> you're like, how do you get up there? Find it from a seated position. You're fluttering, change. Ooh, that one took my breath away. All right, come back down. Zombie sit-ups, fingers in front of you. Check out that manicure. Oh boy. And let's go, come all the way up. Boop. Touch those toes, come right back down. Just like everything we do, it's slow and it's controlled. If you lose control, that means you change. That means your muscles aren't contracted to where they need to be, okay? That's when you lose control and go a little too fast. Sit up, lean back, legs up, hey. Flutter, flutter, okay? Back is straight, back is off the ground. It's not like regular flutter kicks. Your back is higher, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep it going. Lean it back, lean it back, lean it back. If you have your weights in your hand, it's kind of like a counterbalance. Ends up making it a little easier to change. Hint, hint. All right, take it all the way back down. Find those fingers in front of you. Ready or not, rise my pretties all the way up. Reach forward and right back down. Ooh. All the way up, reach, nice straight spine. Come back down. Reach, reach, change. Come on up. Nice straight back, lean back. Rise those heels up and flutter with me. So what I'm doing is this. I don't know if you can really notice or see, but my legs are going like this. Okay, I'm not fluttering. Fluttering, a lot of people like to make it cute and bend their knees, which is against all rules of flutter. Change. You got one more beat. So I've noticed that if you do this with your legs, it keeps them a little bit straighter, which keeps your muscles constricted, which is what you want. Let's go, all the way up. Full zombie sit up and right back down. Up you go. And again, if right about now, this is where you're at, that's okay. These are one of those things that don't really get easier <laughs> as you keep doing them. But again, change. If you have those weights in your hand, it works as kind of like a little bit of a counterbalance. All right, lean it back. Ass up, touch out, toes, let's go. Flutter, flutter. Side to side, keep it tight. Keep it tight, chest forward, don't look down. Look up or look up. So if you have a corner of your room, you're kind of looking up at where the ceiling and the wall connect. Change, come all the way out. All right. 
I'm moving on for right now. Glick, glick, pose. All right, side planks, find a side. Don't care which one. I am not there to police you, and you're not there to make eye contact with some random stranger on the mat next to you. All right, find your side plank. Foot on top, foot in front, or foot way in front, whatever works for you. Take those fingers, decorate the back of your ear like a little earring, okay? You're gonna take that elbow and bring it down to the ground. And right back up. Down and up, down and up. Still between two panes of glass. Hips are in one line from the bottom of the mat all the way up to the ceiling. Find that side plank. Hold it while I figure myself out. All right, here we go. Let's go. Take that elbow all the way down. See if you can touch that mat all the way down, up and down. Core is tight, quads are tight. Holding yourself up, 15 seconds in, 15 to go. You're halfway there. Take it down, right back up. You got this. Glick, glick. Last one, whoa, change. I'm all the way down. <sighs> all right. Coming into bolts. If you haven't done bolts with me before, this is what they are. Plant those hands. Why not your feet? Mine are about here, okay? Take those feet wide. Come into that nice wide foot. Blank. Bring yourself back. I learned something the other day. This is called a loaded beast. <laughs> okay, coming all the way back to that loaded beast, right back into that plank pose. If you're a badass, you can take that loaded beast, bring your knee with you, knee to elbow. Loaded beast to the other side. These are called bolts, lightning bolts, all the way back, all the way forward. Set it up round one. Okay, if you're looking at me like this, are you doing this? Just hold a plank, just hold a plank for me. All right, set it up, let's go. Take it back, bring it up. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. If your knees aren't having it, just hold that plank. All the way back, all the way up. Core stays tight. When you're going back into that loaded beast, your knees are flying. Knees are in flight. Coming back. Forward you go. Almost. Ooh. Didn't know I was gonna stick legs in core, did ya? <laughs> Neither did I. All right, almost there. One more. Ooh, change. Take it all the way down. Coming down into your prone position, We're going with scuba steves. <laughs> Why are they called that? Because that's what it looks like to me. Okay, finding that kick, that flutter kick. Up, up, up. Not this, okay? Keep those knees locked. You are moving through your glutes and your lower back. Scuba Steve has your arms up here, just like that little bath toy, like that. Scuba Steve usually ends up over here, but that's okay. We're going right here in that prone position. Where's my timer? You have 30 seconds. Get ready. Let's go. So if this is a lot for your shoulders, this is fine. Find where your shoulders are going to be happy. What I'm more worried about is right here. Your lower back and your glutes and your hamstrings working. If your arms aren't going crazy, that's okay. Not worried about it. La la la. Keep going. You're almost there. James. All right, push it back up. Round two of bolts. Set yourself up. If you don't want to do bolts, if your knees are hurting, you can take it hip dips from side to side. All right, just some sort of movement. You can take hip dips or you can rock on your toes. Like so. Find a movement or find your bolts and let's go. Take it back. Up and forward. Ugh. All the way back. 
Now make sure when you come into this bolt, especially if you're moving your legs, you're in a plank position. You're not up here doing some weird dog on a fire hydrant. You're down low. All the way back, all the way forward. You have 15 seconds left. Find those bolts. All the way, push through that plank pose. Push through. Get that core tight. One more. James, take it down. All right. Find that prone position again. You get the same movement with the back. Back half still doing the same thing. Okay, front half this time, you're pulling down. So whether you want your weights or not, that's up to you. Back half is still going. Pulling that chest open. Pull. Pull. Okay? If you're finding that you're using your weights and it is pinching your shoulder, drop the weights. It's a little too heavy yet. Okay? Let's go. Pull. Pulling open that chest. Using your back. There's a little bit of coordination that goes into this one. So... If you need to stop kicking to pull, and then kick and pull, that's okay. Find what's gonna work for you. Make sure your elbows stay down, shoulders down. One more, and change, and take it all the way down. All right. Do you remember which side plank you did before? I hope so, because you're doing the other side. Figure out which way you were facing. We're doing the other side plank, elbow to mat. Find your forearm side plank, shoulder directly over that elbow. Remember, elbow to the mat. Set it up. Let's go. All the way up, all the way down. Two panes of glass. Check your shoulder. Make sure it's right over that elbow. Woo. Make sure your core is tight. If you're all over the place, like I was just a second ago, it's because your core is not tight. Tighten it up. Zip it up. Five seconds. All right. Change. Take it all the way down. <laughs> okay. One more back down to the core. Come back onto your back. I need this. <sighs> All right. I've been making you do these a lot because I think they're fun. <laughs> and I think they're funny. And it was one of my happy places to watch you guys do these in the, in the studio. All right. So find one leg up, one leg down. You can have your weights. I was just messing with them. You can have your weights mirroring your legs for this one. You're just coming up and up and up and up. Roll that tailbone up off the ground, okay? If your tailbone is down and you're popping a twerk, you're going to drop that heel, okay? Roll that tailbone up ever so slightly so that the small of your back is on the ground. Heel is towards that wall, this heel is up. If your front leg, top leg looks like this, that's okay. I am not concerned. Come up, come back down, come up, come back down. Set it up, <laughs> breathless, set it up. And let's go. Take it up, take it down. I am in this position and I was talking about a funny exercise, so I'm pretty sure you know what's coming next. We'll go with it. Reach, reach, reach. Flex those feet or point your toes. Change. I prefer flex because it activates those hamstrings. All right, ready? We're clapping. Find the side, find the side. Find the side, set it up, let's go. Find it, find it, find it. Again, I prefer flex because it activates those hamstrings a little bit more successfully. All muscles are connected in one way or another, whether it just be because it's all in the same body, what have you, change. So, that being said, activate whatever you can at whatever time. Same side, heel up, let's go. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Same side. Q. 
keep reaching. If you're finding a pinch in your shoulders, let those weights go. It's about the core, not the shoulders right now, okay? Change. Take it down. Clap it out. Get ready. Set it up. And let's go. Clap, 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 clap. Keep that tailbone rolled up off the ground, small of your back, forever touching that mat. You got it. Hey, change. All right. Take it to the other side. Heel up, heel up, arms up. Let's go. Pulse it here. Nice and slow. Take your time. Think about what muscles are firing right now. Think about where you're feeling it. Enjoy that feeling. Change. That means you're working. You're building muscles. Clapping it out. Same side to start, ready or not. Let's go, clap, 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 clap. Okay, I don't have much to say. <laughs> Thank God, right? Shut the fuck up. Change. All right, one more. Get that opposite leg up. So same leg as the last. Stick that heel out. Ready or not? Let's go. Bring it up. Ooh. -ah. Ooh. -ah. Reach, 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 reach. Don't, 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 don't give up. Keep that heel up. Reach, reach, change. Benny, how you feel? Clapping it up. Last one. Ready? Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Ready or not. Find your rhythm. Almost there. Ooh. Get the shoulder blades up. Change. Stay by the bell. All right. Roll it up, stand it up, and grab some water. Meet me at the top. Poop. All right, no band. What? Yeah, no band. <laughs> We're working this no band thing lately. Okay. You don't need the weights for this. <laughs> okay, find your lateral lunge. We did a couple lateral lunges last Wednesday, on Wednesday. Doing them again, but with a twist. So you're gonna find your lateral lunge. It doesn't need to be super aggressive, okay? Just find it. Find one leg straight, one leg bent. My right leg's bent, my left leg's straight. Well, actually, that's a lie, it's the other way. But for you, my right leg is bent, my left leg is straight. Coming all the way down, okay? You're going to lift off, kicking through that bent leg, okay? So right leg is bent, right leg pushes all the way up. Now it's nice and straight, tombe. Okay, down and up, down and up, okay? Find that down and up, set her up. And let's go, take it all the way down, right up. All the way down and up. Now, make sure with this, you're not turning to the side, you're not turning to the side, although that feels good. You want it directly to the side, you're using your glutes right here, change. Okay, round two, find that lateral lunge and pulse it here, okay? Sit back into that heel, set it up and let's go. Pulsing here. I don't know what that was. The big ass truck coming out through my street. Take it low, pulse, pulse, pulse. You're pulsing through that glute, through this quad. Take it low, change. Same idea, same side. Still kicking that right leg. Set it up in that lateral lunge. 
and let's go, tombe, all the way up. Take it down, low, and up. Okay, when I say low, I'm talking about your squat, not your chest, all right? Don't come down, it's not a bow. You're not finished yet. Take it low, chest up. Take it low, and up. Change. Slightly pissing my knee off, but that's okay. Come on down, nice and low. Find that squat. Let's go, right here. So, you can pull through that heel. I always rock on my heel, because then I know my weight is in the right place. You can rock it this way, or just stay down low and pulse your body. Whatever feels better to you, does pretty much the same thing. Change. Ready? Other side. Bend that other knee, taking it to the left. Tombe this side. Ready, let's go. Take a second, figure out what you're trying to do. Find your footprints, take it low. Keep that chest up. Chest up, stick your butt out. Chest up. Stick your butt out. She never tells me to do that. I know, right? Change. We don't do these often. All right. Find that lateral lunge. Take it low. Pulsing it right here. Let's go. One thing I will tell you is that all 10 toes should be facing the same way. Right? Everybody's forward. We're not over here. We're forward. Pushing through the outside of this hamstring and this glute muscle. All right, change, bring it up. Tombe, same side. Bend that left knee and let's go. Kick straight up, down, kick straight up, down, kick. La la la. Almost. Kick, change. You got one more pulsing down in that lateral lunge. Set it up, bend that knee. Get down nice and low, chest up, let's go. Pulsing whichever way you're comfortable with. Either moving that foot or just coming low. Stay low, chest up, look up. Your foot's gonna do whatever it's gonna do. You don't have to stare at it. Look up, change. Come on up. All right. Grab onto that bend. I am not satisfied. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's been a couple days. All right. Same idea, kind of, with the band, but you're taking it from a squat. So you're taking it nice and low. We're gonna go back to that original side, that right side. Take it into a squat and pull it up. Take it into a full squat. So with this full squat, you're back in your heels, all the way down, lifting this left leg off the ground as fast as you can. So, down, lift it up. Down, lift it up, stand up. If your knee is bothering you, do it without the band. Because what's happening, I'm finding with me right now, is that it's pulling on my knee, which I hyperextended last weekend. So, if your knee is doing a thing, drop the band, you'll still get the same results. Ready? Set it up, take it low, squat. Let's go, one side only. Low, low, low. This is working your glutes and your quad. Kick it out. Down and up. Stick that boat out. <laughs> Change. All right. Taking it in the middle, just pulsing that squat. Walk it out a little bit more if you can, and let's go. Take it down. And when I say walking it out, make sure your knees aren't doing this. Okay, if the band is pulling your knees like that, you need to step in. Step your feet closer together. Keep those knees out. Chest up, gaze up, collarbone open. Hold it, change, bring it up. <laughs> same side, squat, kick, same side. Let's go. 
<laughs> the antenna in my armpit. Come down and up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Throw that leg out. James, doesn't have to be super dramatic. You have the band on, I get it. All right, squat pulses. There we go. Set it up, let's go. Pulse it here. My booty song's on in my background. <laughs> Take it low, pulse it. Make sure you're in your heels, knees over ankles. Stay low, change. All right, other side. So take that squat, coming up, kicking out that right foot. Let's go. Take it low, kick, low, kick. Use your breath, use your resources, everything you've got. Grunt, yell, exhale, aggressively, whatever you need to do. Change. Squat pulses. Find your feet. Toes forward. Lean back into your heels. Sit down. Let's go. Right here. Look up. Look up, look up, look up. Chest up. Gaze up. Look up. <laughs> Sit back in your heels. I know it hurts. Supposed to change. Come on up. Same side, kicking out that right leg. Set it up. Let's go. Squat it down. Pull and kick. Ooh. All the way down. Make sure you're hitting that squat. Squat low. Squat. Hit it low. Change. <laughs> one more. No, not one more. I lie. No, I don't. Pull sit down. It's hard without you guys looking at me going, no. All right, pulse, pulse, pulse. This is the last one. In the studio, I get some confused looks. It lets me know I've gone too far. I haven't done enough. Now it's just me and whatever the hell lives in my garage. Change. Hope you go. Drop that band. Now we're done. All right. I'm doing cardio on the ground today. And I'll explain that when we get down here. Okay. <clears throat> so today, we're going push up to mountain climber. Push up, mountain climber. That's our alternate exercise, okay? So sticking to the good push-ups, I just want that form there. Again, taking it down to your knees or your toes. I don't care. My knee's not gonna let me do toes. Not that I like toes anyway. Okay, pull your, bit, pull your butt in, all right? Like so. Find that nice, non-hinge in your hips and keep it there down and up all right that's it yeah that's all i don't think i need to explain a push-up any more than that ready or not find your hands don't bend at the waist and let's go push it down push it up down and up everybody hates push-ups so let's do them Let's get comfortable with our push-up. Mm, change. All right, keep their hands where they are. Pull your toes into the mix. Mountain climbers, all right? Drive that knee to the center, let's go. Make sure you are in a plank position. Your butt's in check. You're not the mountain, okay? Get your butt down. Pull in, pull in, pull in. Go as slow or as fast as you need to. Almost, 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 change. Shake it out, you got more push-ups. 
Ready? Let's go. Take it down, take it up. If you're doing push-ups on the wall, do your push-ups on the wall, and this is your mountain climber, okay? I just want you to move. Push up, push up. Uh, change. Bring it all the way up. Find those toes. You got mountain climbers round two. Hit it. Let's go. Kick, 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 kick. Run, run. Make sure your butt doesn't do a thing. And come up. Keep it going. Keep going, keep going, keep running. Change. Take it down. Shake it off. You have one more. Ready? Me neither. Let's go. Push it up. Down and up. And again, if you're pulling yourself off the mat, don't go low. Go here. Right here. This is enough. Okay? Change. One more mountain climber. Set it up. Find your toes. You're almost there. Let's go. Keep moving. Hands on your knees about that. It's like a yoga ball. Straight through. Keep moving. Cardio. There's no burpees today. What? This is it. Change. Take it down. Shake it off. Shake it, shake. Hi. <laughs> okay. All right. Find those weights. Bring them to the sides. You can do this sitting like this on your knees. You can do this standing, or you can do this how I used to do it for yoga fit. So if you've ever taken yoga fit with me, I used to do this all the time. Coming down to that nice wide squat that you're holding. Hands come out, remember this? Ah, oh, damn it, yeah. Okay, this is where we're at today. Coming down like so, okay? So you can do this in that squat, or you can do it on your knees, or what have you. Find your weights, come down low, set it up, find that squat, let's go. Circle forward, circle forward, circle forward. Yeah, yeah. Keep that circle. If you find you're doing this, drop the weights, just do it with your regular balled up fist. Change, all right. From here, you're bringing it together and back out. Together and back out. Let's go. Take it in and back out. In and out. You got it. Change. All right. Those knuckles are together in this circle. Keep it away from your chest. Knuckles together. Bring it down towards your pelvic bone, all the way up over your head. Take it down, take it up. Give yourself a big circle, okay? Big circle. Make sure you're not, see next to your body? Big circle. All the way up, all the way down. Change. Okay, going backwards, taking it from here, back out. Set it up, let's go. All the way out, all the way in. Out, and in. If they got heavy, drop the weight. Don't let them pinch your shoulders. Change. Yeah, I don't like those either. Shake it off. <sighs> One more. Hands all the way out to the side in that T. 
Rolling backwards this time. Backwards, backwards. Let's go. Backwards. They've been up. <laughs> oh. Take it low. Sit down. Don't let those shoulders pinch. Almost. Change. My perma smile so I don't dirt face. All right. Up you go. Okay. We have a little time. I'm going to take you into curtsy squats. So, left leg forward. Cross onto the right side of your mat. So, upper right quadrant of your mat. Your right leg, lower left. All right? This is your curtsy. Taking it down into a curtsy, coming all the way through that heel and kicking. What did she do? This. Okay, take it down low. Make sure that that front knee is relatively over that front ankle. Take it down into that curtsy, chest back, bring it all the way up through that heel and kick. If that's bothering your knee like it's bothering mine, just hold this curtsy and pull it straight up. Down and up. Pushing back through that heel and up. If your knee's okay, kick it all the way out to the side. Set it up, find top right, lower left. All right, you can pull weights in if you want your weights. Set it up and let's go. Take it down and up. Kick through that heel all the way down, bring it up. All the way down, bring it up. Try and hold in that heel the entire time. Whoa, <laughs> hold down, yeah girl. Hold it all the way in that heel. All your weights in that heel, change. Okay, find your footprints, find that curtsy squat. You're pulsing right here. Lean it back, pulse, push through this heel. Come down low and push through that heel. Feeling it all right here in this glute. Just coming down, chest up, gaze up. Dance it out, rock it out, do whatever you need to do to get through. Pushing through, sitting up, change. Good, pull it all the way up. Kick it out, you've got one more full range. Curtsy squat, same side. Make sure that that left foot is still forward. Come on down nice and low, and curtsy. Kicking it all the way up, coming right back down. Make sure you're giving that nice little uh, at the top, squeezing those glutes, whoa. Lay onto the wall if you need to. Coming all the way down. Making sure that you do not have a death grip on that mat in the front, change. Good. Find your footprints, same side, one more pulse. I cannot balance today. Come on down nice and low, chest up. Holding that glute nice and tight. So make sure you're squeezing that glute. Clench. It clenches, right? <laughs> Good. Come on down. Stay here. Toes up, push back, chest up. Change, coming all the way up. Switching sides, so right foot forward in the left top quadrant of that mat. Coming down left foot, back in that right. Find your curtsy, and let's go. Pulling it all the way up, right back down. Hoop. Right back down. Squeeze together before you come back down. You can take a look and make sure that your knee is directly over that ankle in the front. All the way down, all the way up. Whoa. Change. Keeping your footprint exactly where it is. Setting it up for those pulses. Come on down, let's go. Again, push all the way back through that front heel. Bouncing, bouncing. Making sure you're in that curtsy position through that right glute. Dance it off. Whatever you got to do. If you have those weights, change. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with those things. Move them whichever way makes you happy. Coming in round two, full range, same side. Let's go, curtsy down, pushing it all the way up through that heel. All the way up. All the way. Make sure you're breathing. Kick, whoa, kick. Down and kick. Change. All right. 
Stay with that same side. One more. Pulsing it out. Get down low. Let's go. Make sure that front knee is still over that ankle. Pushing through that heel. Squeeze this glute on the side. You're going to feel it. Make sure you're not leaning forward. That's a little different. I want you back. Sitting into that glute. Come on low. Change. <laughs> okay. I think it's time for bridges. I've been avoiding them, but no longer. Grab your blocks and hold on. Where'd my band go? Oh. here okay grab your blocks right get your blocks all set up grab your resistance band fit it low over those thighs okay as always with bridges weights are optional coming all the way onto your back toes down today toes down heels up Okay, with these weights, you can have these weights directly over your head, like so. If you think you're gonna drop them on your face, put them down. Fingertips all the way to the ceiling. If you do want your weights, you just don't want them over your face, you can stick them in your hip creases like so, and come up and down, just holding onto them like that. Whatever you wanna do, figure it out. The only thing that I don't want is your hands to be here because that's cheating because I know you're pushing and helping your glutes get up. So let's not do that one. Grab those weights, stick them wherever you're going to stick them. Get your toes down on those black stiletto heels, ladies and gentlemen. Heels all the way up nice and high and let's go nice and slow. Take it up, take it down. I want full range of motion to start out. And even though we end up doing like 800 bridges <laughs> every time we do bridges, you don't need to do a whole bunch of them if you've got the right form going on. So making sure that you have your knees at hip distance apart, not necessarily over your ankles because I don't think that's possible right now. Knees are at hip distance apart. You're squeezing your glutes at the top, getting that full range, tap, little teeny tiny tap, back down on the mat, pulling all the way up. Coming down, coming up. All right, getting ready to take it to a pulse. Come up, take those hips as high as they're gonna go and squeeze your glutes together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's a micro movement. You don't have to really see it. It's a little squeeze. Squeeze those glutes together, both at the same time. Keeping those hips up nice and high. Just find that pulse. <sighs> I know, these suck. All right, get ready to switch it to one at a time. So you're gonna squeeze left glute, right glute, left glute, right, left, right, left, right. Side, two side, two side. Two sides. Make sure that your knees aren't knocking in. We're not in a butterfly yet. Just hold on. Hold that thought. Squeezing your glutes side to side. Make sure you're not coming down. It's actually easier if you take it higher. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, a four, three, two, one. Hold those hips up nice and high. Now this is what you've been waiting for. Take those knees out and in. Knees out, knees in. Take it out, take it in, all the way out, all the way in. Keeping those hips up all the way, high as they'll go. Don't drop those hips. If you can, you have those weights balanced, whew, you can make sure you have a lot of clearance, right? Hold your hands here. Don't sit on your hands, huh? Just hold them up. I better fly out. E -e. Let's go five, four. Three, two, 
one, take those knees out, butterfly hold, pulse it, <laughs> pulse it here, knees out as far as they'll go. My resistance band is not letting my knees go out very far and that's okay. Keep it up nice and high. It's all personal. Wherever your knees are gonna go, just fight that band. A five, a four, let's three, two, one. Hold that butterfly knee out. Drop those hips down and come back up. Full range of motion. Down and up, up and down. Finding that butterfly. Keep pushing those knees out to either side. Don't let them come in. Five, four, three, four, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way down. Hug it out. Move those weights. Take it from side to side. Do what you gotta. You gotta have a bad bitch. All right, enough of that. Heels down on those blocks. Toes are in the air. Find your weights. Stick them in your hip creases, like so. All the way, full, full range of motion, working a little bit different glute muscle. Coming down, coming up. This flexing your feet is keeping your hamstrings nice and engaged and tight. Coming down, all the way up. Hold this full range of motion. Eee. All right, get ready to switch and pulse at the top. Set it up, ready or not, let's go, pull it up. Hold it right here, pulse, pulse. Nice and small movements, again, doesn't take a lot. Just keep those glutes squeezed, nice and tight. All right. Transfer your weight over to your left heel. Bring that right heel up off of that block. Kick it towards the opposite wall. Bring it in, take it out. Bring it in, take it out. In and out you go. Eee. Make sure your hips are up, off the ground. Almost. All right, three, two, one, hold that leg out and just start to bounce it off of that resistance band. What that's doing is it's creating more resistance, pulling this knee in. As it's pulling that knee in, you're fighting that resistance band to keep that knee directly at hip distance and in turn is working that glute. Let's go, five, bounce, four, three, two, one. Switch it over, all the way out, all the way in. Kick it out, kick it in. Switching legs. Heels on that block. You're driving with that other heel through that opposite wall. Keep those hips up high, higher, higher, higher. My foot, <laughs> my ankle's cramping. Keep kicking, kick. All the way out straight, all the way. Keeping those hips up nice and high. You're almost there. Kick, kick, kick. Okay, ready? Let's switch it over to bounces in three more. Two left, last one. Hold it here, bounce. Straight up and down. Keeping those glutes up high. Nice, tall bridge. Using that resistance band. Squeezing that glute, both of them and just bounce. La, la, la. You're almost done. This is it. Last thing we're doing. And then you'll finish. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take those weights. Move them aside. Take that resistance band. You're done. Pew! You made it. Move those blocks away from you. And just come down. 
Stretch in whatever way makes you feel good. Maybe you got that butterfly thing going on. That feels good. Since you just did glutes, any kind of a spinal twist always feels good if you're twisting that side. Opening that glute muscle up, taking it to the other direction. Maybe side to side as y'all saying. Good. Grab onto your shins, rock yourself all the way up to that seated position. Or not, if you want to stay down in that Shavasana and take your Shavasana, you do you boo. This is where I leave you. Please enjoy the rest of your week, the rest of your day, and the rest of your life. Namaste. See you next time.